Hey, will somebody turn on the light? Oh, guess that's me. <laughs> that's better. My name is Watson, and I'm a light bulb. You know why I'm all lit up like this? Because of electricity. Electricity is a very important part of our lives. It makes all sorts of things work. Wow! But if you're not careful, it can be dangerous. So come along with me, and I'll show you Watson's ways to be safe with electricity. What exactly is electricity? It's a form of energy. You can't see it. You can't smell it. And you can't touch it. But we use it every day. In fact, it's right inside your home. Hey, how did it get there? Here's how. Electricity is made at a big power plant like this one. The power plant sends out the electricity in these power lines, and it keeps moving through the lines all the way to cities and towns, ending up in our neighborhoods. Then the power lines on every block carry the electricity to our homes, either by overhead or underground power lines. So how do you know it's here in the house? Every time you turn on the TV set, or use a computer, or cook something in the microwave, or even turn on a light, like me. In fact, most times when you need energy to make something work, you're using electricity. Sounds like a good thing, huh? It is. So why did I say that electricity can be dangerous? Because it'll shock you if you don't use it the right way. That's because electricity is a good traveler, and it's always looking for a place to go. So you have to make sure you don't get in the way. See how dark this room is? You have to turn on a light switch so you can see. There, that's better. But what if the switch is damaged or broken? What do you do? Stay away from it and don't touch it. That's my first rule. Damaged switches can hurt you. So leave them alone. Have an adult fix them. And be careful with these plugs, too. This one is for the TV set, so you have to plug it in an outlet, like this. Now the electric power can flow into the TV, so it has enough energy to work. But remember, only plugs go into outlets. Don't put anything else in an outlet, OK? Because you might get hurt. Here's another one of Watson's ways for electric safety. Keep away from anything electrical when you're wet or near the water. So if you're in the bathtub, make sure the radio and hairdryer and anything else electrical is far away. That's because electricity travels through water and things that are wet. This way, you stay safe while you're having fun in the water. <laughs> now. Let's go outdoors. Hey, these kids sure look like they're having a good time. You know why? They're following another one of Watson's ways. Fly your kite away from power lines. There's a lot of electricity moving through these power lines all the time. If your kite hits one of the lines, the electricity might travel through the kite and end up hurting you. So fly your kite away from these wires, and you won't have to worry. And stay out of substations. In fact, stay away from any place with signs that say danger, high voltage. That's a real important rule. There's a lot of dangerous equipment in these places. That's why they have big fences and signs to protect you from anything bad happening to you. So keep out and stay out. You two, it's the third and last one. Watson. 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 Watson.
Inside this ambulance is a kid who didn't follow Watson's ways for electric safety. He got inside a substation and tried to play on the equipment. And now he has to go to the hospital. So remember, stay away from any place where you see this danger sign. Wow, that looks like big fun. These kids sure know what to do. They're playing away from the power poles and power lines in their neighborhood. That's another one of Watson's ways. Stay off power poles and towers. They're dangerous to climb on, so leave them alone. Besides, it's more fun and a lot safer to play on the ground. <laughs> now, what if you like to climb trees like this? Stay away from trees with power lines running through them like these. Remember, electricity is moving through those power lines, so you can get hurt if you climb a tree like this one. And what if you find some broken power lines on the ground? Don't touch them. That's a very important rule. Stay away from broken power lines. And make sure you tell other people to stay away from them too. Then go tell an adult right away. If you can't find an adult, then go to the nearest phone and dial the emergency number, 911. This is real important to remember. 911 for an emergency. Thanks to my friend here, Help is on the way. Ooh, did you know that there's even electricity in lightning? Kind of scary, huh? So what if you're outside swimming and a thunderstorm hits? Just follow this rule. Stay out of the water during thunderstorms and stay away from trees too. If you're indoors, stay there where it's safe and you won't get hurt. <laughs> well, it looks like it's time for my nap. Ouch, that's hot. I almost forgot. <laughs> Don't touch a light bulb after it's been turned on because it's real hot. Now it's time to cool down. <laughs> Don't forget, it's fun to play, but don't play with electricity.